At a time when the opportunities for an opposition have never been greater, in many ways more needed, why is the Labour Party a dysfunctional mess? Yeah, that's a really good question. I mean, I think, um, you know, bad enough that the uh, Labour Party has chosen this moment when we desperately need, as you say, a strong and robust opposition to tear themselves apart. Bad enough um, that they're doing it in such a calculated way so that they're staggering the resignation so that they dominate the media cycle instead of for example, either the mess we're in or the Conservative Party. Bad enough that they're trying to blame Jeremy Corbyn for having failed to secure uh, a Remain vote when in fact he got as much of the votes as Nicola Sturgeon's SNP did. Um, but to top it all off, this is the worst coup I've ever seen. In what sense? There's no plan. There's no leader. Who's the candidate? What's the platform? What's the politics? They know that they don't have the support either of the party membership, which still backs the democratically elected Labour leader, or the unions. If you're going to orchestrate a coup, make it credible, All right, especially if you're going to okay. accuse the leader of incompetence. Jeremy is never going to command the support of the people he works with. If there is a leadership challenge, and we're still uh, waiting on one, and it goes to the country, <laughs> in terms of the membership of the Labour Party in the country. And Mr Corbyn wins, as a poll in tomorrow's time suggests it may not be quite as easy as some of his supporters think, but he's still ahead if he wins. Doesn't that risk splitting the Labour Party or something? <laughs> well, it wasn't rather, meant to make you laugh. Well, it's, it's rather understating the situation, is it? Uh, I mean, first of all, would he be a candidate on the ballot? I, I, I think that might need to be something that was tested. Well, let's assume that he is. Well, I, no, no, because I think... Natural justice would suggest he should be. He is no, the incumbent. I, I, I disagree with that, and I think it ought to be tested in the courts, and I think that may be where the Labour Party has to you go. You guys are deluding yourself. You are both deluding yourself. No, no you're, you're deluding He's yourself. on the ballet. That's why you won't raise a leadership candidate, because you know but whoever, the people on the ballot, whoever you put up against him is going to lose. The people, may, may people may on the ballot, the people who got the confidence just ask you, on the subject of delusion, so that works. how will you fight a general election when every interviewer, like Andrew, will simply say to every candidate, why should anyone think that Jeremy Corbyn could be Prime Minister when 80% of his members because of Parliament don't? The only way you can ask so that there, question is that you've people. completely misunderstood the appeal of Jeremy Corbyn and his politics. You've completely misunderstood why that kind of politics resonates so strongly with the population kind of and with Labour voters. This? You would never be asking that question if you had any inkling of why it's so powerful and, and so popular. All of this bickering, bickering doesn't help anyone. Honestly, Andrew, in the House of Commons this week, it's been quite unbelievable watching across the way that the Tories bickering amongst each other. And again, in the Labour sure. Party, where all the people want is a plan. And everyone has gone, well, Osborne was missing in inaction. All right. no, I get, Boris I get was playing that. cricket. Is, where were they all? Sure, I understand you could, that. You could but, literally get but, someone off the street well, and they do a better they, job than our elected leaders. Very, very, very when true. the establishments had the bloody nose it's had on June the 23rd, it is not surprising that both Her Majesty's government and Her Majesty's opposition are in various degrees of disarray. Indeed, but we That's do not have had a plan before. Would you not? Well, you're we, the we, government of the country. It's a sign of leadership, isn't it? Being able My to, advice if is you're the you get your plan right and come back and let me you interview you again. You would have a plan before the vote. You get your plan and I'll want, be happy to uh, I would like to hear the plan. SNP to, to occupy England. I've got there a plan. We'd be much better off that way. That will really... That will really get English votes. Well done. Now, oh, it's being said a lot that last week's referendum shows a divided nation. Are you going to heckle me or can I do my job? Ref